Now, there was drama at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport as a section of passengers had their traveling items confiscated by the Kenya Revenue Authority customs officials over unpaid duty. KRA stating that the enhanced screening of luggage being experienced at the busy airport is as a result of an increase of taxable items that should ordinarily be subjected to duty. And as Seth Alale reports, the Tourism and Wildlife Cabinet Secretary, Alfred Mutua, who accompanied KRA's senior officials in monitoring the screening process at the International Passenger Arrival Terminal, assured passengers that they will not be harassed by customs officials accused of inspecting personalized items. This, even as Transport Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Murkomen announced measures geared towards improving service delivery and customer experience at the airport. A passenger arriving at the Jomo Kenata International Airport from USA had his four brand new phones confiscated by Kenya Revenue Authority customs officials. We'll just take them. The items are taxable that you're bringing in. So we'll go to the office. I'll need the, an invoice or you declare the values and then I'll compute the taxes for you. Second passenger from the U.S. also had his luggage flagged by the authorities at JKIA. Look, we came from America. This has been checked. Coming over here, this has been checked. So now we have to check again. The luggage marked X and I went mandatory screening before KRA custom officials embarked on an additional inspection of the luggage. A perfume was among the items found. All arriving passengers, including Rachel Oyando, who has been a nurse in the U.S. for 20 years and now retiring home in Kenya, required to undergo the four clearing processes from disembarkation to exit point. We have had a lot of uh, stuff going on when we are uh, overseas that, we, you know, to enter here you have to pay a lot of money for the goods you are carrying, even your own personal effects. And this has made us a little bit scared. This was intercepted in a luggage. A total of 571 items have either been restricted or prohibited between July and October this year by the KRA Customs and Border Control Unit at GKIA. This particular detention unit contains both prohibited and restricted items. Some of the prohibited items include sex toys and shisha, while some of the restricted items include radio calls, drones, rounds of ammunition, handguns, revolvers, rifles, handcuffs and magazine. This is just part of the procedure here at the Jomo Kenata International Airport. KRA's commissioner in charge of customs and border control, Lilian Nawanda, says the enhanced screening of luggage being experienced at the busy airport is as a result of an increase of taxable items that should ordinarily be subjected to duty. In the last few months, we've seen an influx of dutiable items. Hence the reaction from the public, because we've intercepted quite a number of high-valued items. KRA stating that the implementation of the East African Community Customs Management Act 2004 under the fifth schedule that requires duty be paid for purchased goods worth more than $500 or 75,000 shillings upon arrival has been operational for close to two decades. The $500 you know, limit is nothing new. You know, it's been in the law. We've been implementing the law all along since 2004 when ECMA was enacted. However, Tourism Wildlife Cabinet Secretary Alfred Mutua, who accompanied KRA's senior officials in monitoring the screening process at the International Passenger Arrival Terminal at JKIA, assured passengers that they will not be harassed by customs officials accused of inspecting personalized items. The days of fearing coming to this country when you're a citizen, when you're a student coming back, they are gone. 
you are now in a new era of William Ruto's government. We are welcoming you back home. You send a lot of money home, so come home. You can carry gifts up to a certain quantity that will be listed clearly. If you carry many, like you're coming to sell, then you'll pay taxes. The tourism CS stating that measures will be put in place in collaboration with KRA to restore order. I'll be providing that information to them from all over the world through my uh, partnership with other ministries, Foreign Affairs and Diaspora, uh, Ministry of Trade and others who have uh, footprints across the world. Transport Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Mutkomen, who met senior management of Kenya Airports Authority at the same venue, announced measures geared towards improving service delivery and customer experience at JKIA. We must establish an airport charter that brings together various agencies and uh, departments of government operating from the airport specifically the Department of Immigration, the Police uh, uh, Department, various departments of the police actually, agencies of the police led by the uh, police uh, unit here, and the Port Health and Customs and also CAFIS. The JKIA is one of the busiest airports on the continent. Up to 50 international airlines arrive here on a 24-hour basis. Passengers boarding these particular flights want proper communication as well as more time to adhere to rules by KRA. Seth Olale, Citizen TV at the JKIA, Embakasi.